How secure are the internet connections you're using? This is your digital security makeover. When you join insecure Wi-Fi, you're giving up a lot more than you may realize. Here's why it's a problem. When connecting to an open network, you expose your device and activity to everybody else on that network. When you don't know who else is on the network, you could become vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks and ARP cache poisoning. Basically, someone can listen on login usernames and passwords, which sites you visit, and what you type into Google. This includes free Wi-Fi at cafes where they hand out or put up the password, as well as your home network if you don't keep it properly secured. In my video about passwords, I teach you how two-step authentication can help prevent hackers from getting access to your account, even if they have the password. So definitely keep that in mind if you use a lot of different networks or ones with questionable security. At home, or if you live in a densely populated area, you should change your network password once every few months. I use an airport utility for my airport extreme router, but you might try Googling the brand and model name of your router. And many of them have a web interface that allows you to change the password. If you don't know the username and password to the web interface, you can Google the name of your router and then default login, and you might find that it has a really simple username and password to access that web interface. See how easy it would have been for your neighbor to lock you out of your own Wi-Fi? I can easily see 20 to 30 networks here in my apartment in New York City. Uh, now you could set your SSID to be unadvertised, but I find that to be like just a giant pain when you're setting up stuff like the smart TV and the Xbox and the Amazon Echo and the Nest and when your friends come over. You should have friends, right? Speaking of which, some routers let you set up a guest network that will sequester their traffic from yours. If you access a network remotely, say for work, you may have heard of a VPN before. It stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's a safer way to connect to the outside internet by routing all your traffic through a private, login-protected server. And it's usually encrypted too, which hides your data from hackers and the NSA. You can set up your own VPN and access your home network remotely, but also to circumvent content regionality restrictions. I hope this video helps you secure your network activities, and I don't claim to be an expert here, just a Pied Piper, so I've included some further reading and some cool articles in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and share it with a friend who needs a digital security makeover. Don't miss episode one about passwords, and subscribe to catch more in this series. Thanks so much for watching. I put out new videos on Mondays and Thursdays.